Hello everybody, this is T with Kate's Crafty Closet, and today we're going to make a fault-inspired card. I was watching Tim Holtz live uh, this past weekend, and he said, let's make some fall projects inspired. So this is based on watching his video, and decided, let's go ahead and do some fall, because I never really get around to doing fall cards because I'm like I go from Halloween to Christmas and somewhere fall gets lost in the mix of things so I don't know if everybody else has the same issues but let's just go ahead and get ourselves started so the first thing we're going to have to start off this is just some green cardstock this is a top folding card which means that's four and a quarter by five and a half and you want to go ahead these are some um, panels that I pre-cut using the my favorite things stitched die. I'll do the best of my ability to link stuff that I have used in the description box below that we may carry on the store and if I don't carry it link it to other places. So this is just some using some art glitter glue to glue down that panel. So <coughs> apologize for that. So I'm just gonna do my best to semi line it up and boom there we go so we're gonna put that to the side because we don't need it right this second and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna do the panel which I'm gonna be using distress sprays today you can if you don't have sprays you can use inks uh, you can use reinkers anything that you have in your stash so the three colors today I'm using are crushed olive scattered straw carved pumpkin and what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray them onto our mat here. And the colors, depending on where you want, it's okay. I'm just doing the, the green, orange, and then yellow. You can reverse them. You can do however you want to. Okay. Then I'm gonna come in with another panel as so. And I'm just, because this is just regular cardstock, it's not anything special, it's gonna absorb right away so I'm not going to get any way to really drag or grab other colors so I'm going to have to push it down lift it push it back down so here is what we kind of got going on so far and if you want to just go ahead and dab it you can spray direct to paper so let's go ahead and just kind of do that so I can show you how it does work and like I said it pretty much absorbed really, really, really quickly into that cardstock. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put some green at the bottom, a little bit right there, okay? And I would just go ahead and dry this with the heat tool. And, but, and if you can keep dragging into this, you wanna push it, you can, but completely 100% up to you on that one. I'm just going to grab some water and a paper towel so I can go ahead and wipe it up. Normally I use like a tag, a distress tag that I have sitting close by and I use it for later on in a different project. Okay. And because of this cardstock and its properties, you know, cardstock doesn't matter when you use it in projects, but this, well, even when I spray it with water, I'm not going to get that normal effect that I would get with distress. Um, it's, it's, it's just this cardstock. And sometimes this cardstock leaves little, I call it bruises, which, okay, because it raises it and it gives the paper a little bit more of that worn Look, which I'm okay with this when it comes down to the whole fall theme project. If you don't like white space, you do not have to leave white space on your cards, panels, and stuff like that. I'm just going to dry this surface up. So essentially, we are done using our sprays. And through the magic of television, I do have a panel that is already dry and ready to go. And what we're going to use today is this stamp set from Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous. This one's called Fallen Leaves. There you go. And we're just gonna just pick different ones. I'm gonna go with these two here and I'm gonna come in. First, we're gonna grab some Ground Espresso um, ink. This is from the Distress. And I'm just gonna use this shaving brush 
because it's a loose um, bristles and I get a little bit more loose blend effect on here and I'm just gonna go around the edges of our panel here just to give it a little bit more of that earthy look and if you really you can grunge it up absolutely but and you just go over it as many times as you think you do you want to this just randomly puts it doesn't really concentrate because them bristles see how they're really loose they're not tight like the uh, makeup brushes and the other blending brushes out there and just remember all the blending brushes out there have a purpose they do like each one of them that are out there have a purpose and depending on what you're doing is the which one you're going to use so i've never found a brush that is my one i will use all the time never nothing else Okay, so here we go. See how it kind of grounds that a little bit and gives it a little bit more of an earthy look to it. So now we're going to go in with the same ground express. So I'm just going to put that ink on there. Like normally I would not just use regular distress to stamp with, but um, because I'm okay with it looking um, distressed, I don't have no problem using that. I'm just pressing that in there. And you see how I got the rubber on there? I, normally, I, that would bother me, but for this technique and this project, it's not. It's not going to bother me whatsoever. So here we go. And then we're going to come in with that other one. And we're just going to press. And like some of them, you can do a little bit of ink. Some of them, you can do a lot. If you want to do oxide, you can. And I'm not filling up the center because the center is going to have our sentiment on it. And I'm just grabbing a little bit of that edge in these little areas that look like it needs a little bit of filler. So I'm just grabbing the edge of that leaf stamp. And there's no wrong or right way to stamp these leaves. Just have fun with it. Enjoy it. And there you go. So here we go. Because there's no leaf. If you want to fill in some areas right there, you most certainly can. Okay. But I'm okay with the effect of these. Perfect. There we go. So we're pretty much done with our leaves and our ground espresso distress. And I'll clean these off later. Um, and the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is, whoops, not drop it on the floor is I have this thanks stamp set this is an older one that I've had from Sizzix so I just got this giant thanks and I have it in this stamp platform and I'm just going to put this in the corner it's already positioned where I want it from the previous card and I always double check just in case something didn't get moved or stuff like that so I'm good how that looks I'm gonna come in with a pigment ink with the Versafine Claire Nocturne we do have some of this in the store this is really because I get good crisp impressions within one sometimes two impressions but normally within one I can get a good impression so here I'm just gonna lightly push down on it and then I'm gonna lift and say okay I'm good I like how that looks. So see, that's why I kind of like that ink. Get a good impression on the first try. So if I didn't have a positioning tool, I could have done that on my own. So the next thing I'm going to do is like, I'm going to put some, some gold droplets. So I have some Fun Stampers Journey gold silk in here. I believe this is still available. Um, so I'm just going to shake it up. There's a little ball in there. You can hear it. And has like a little brush running in. And I'm just going to flick this gold silk on there. And you won't always see it directly. Sometimes you have to tilt it to see the shimmer and that of the gold, which is cool, which is fine with me. And you can put as little or as much as you want. It's like so, it's like completely 100% up to you and I will grab the heat tool for this because it usually dries rather quickly but I want to make sure that it does so hold on so, so it's dry 
It usually doesn't take long. This is just a precaution. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to make sure that we clean up this little gold right here. But what I'm actually going to do is I literally have a tag right here from earlier. And I'm just going to squish that around. Sometimes it dries quicker. But see how I get that going on. This is just a tag, which I can use for a project later on down the line. And we're going to go ahead and just wipe this up so I can still see some of that gold silk sitting there. Make sure you put the top back on your, um, your um, ink, Tony. All right, so there we go. We got that. And I'm just going to put some foam squares in there because we're back practically done. Um, if you want to add more embellishments to that, you certainly can. Um, I am more of the clean and simple um, card maker. That's just kind of that's kind of the style I just seem to work the best in. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with knowing what you're best good at and focus on that and master it. And if you want to try new things, you most certainly can do, try new things so, so make sure you check out our social media as well uh, make sure you join our group like do some interactive stuff in there uh, make sure you check out the store too right now we have a special with halloween products all 50 percent off right now until monday and that code is going to be halloween 15 and i'll link all that into the description box below so i appreciate you all who support our small business it is one it is greatly appreciated it's a labor of love but something that i enjoy so this is the fun part is pulling off this release paper from these foam squares but not that bad and i am going to put a little bit of the art glitter glue on the back of those foam squares because it gives me a little bit more wiggle room because i am like not the greatest at lining up my panels to my card fronts it's just i'm just not and that's okay and to me they're never mine never go on perfectly and that's okay because it makes it homemade and it makes it me right all right so here i'm just going to add a dabble of arc with a glue on each square and then we'll bring in our panel from earlier and then we will do our best to put it on our coffer. I did uh, caddy corner the other one um, just because I just wanted to try something and I not necessarily really like the results. See how this is going to be wonky? And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that wonkiness. So if you want to add little jewels, like gold jewels, you can. Um, on this one, I actually put that silk and took a piece of and just dabbed it onto the edges you can most certainly do that i'm not going to do that with this one um so this is our card for today i want to thank you all for joining me and have a crafty day y'all